monitoring spirits can be recognized with the peripheral vision. You know what that means? Peripheral vision is the side view of your eyes that is not in focus. In other words, as you watch me at the moment, you may watch me now. As you watch me at the moment, your peripherals are still picking up vision on the side that you are not really focusing on. That's the peripheral vision. Monitoring spirits will make movements, apparitions in the peripheral. And no matter how quick you are, you could be quicker than flash. If in your peripheral you saw a movement and you quickly turn your head to watch, you won't find it. You won't see it. Seeing moving objects with the peripheral vision suggests that there is a real-time monitoring spirit in your life. Seeing dark moving shadows or images with the peripheral vision suggests that there are monitoring spirits assigned to your life. And I've had, as a pastor, I've had many, nobody here, so don't get worried. But I've had numerous people that have talked to me about sitting down in their house all alone and all of a sudden in their peripheral vision, there was a shadow, a dark shadow or, or a movement. And, and no matter how quick they tried to look at it, there was nothing there. But they know that they know that they know that they saw something, but just cannot see it with the naked eye. That's real time monitoring spirits. Seeing drawings and images on walls that are not really a part of the wall. That's a monitoring spirit. Hope you understand what I mean by that. In other words, you can actually look at a wall and the wall is nicely painted. But yet, all of a sudden you can see an image vaguely. And not so clearly. That's a monitoring spirit. Having a real feeling that something invisible is watching you. You can't prove it. You can't tell somebody, I'll prove it to you. But you feel it. You sense it. You know it. I'm sitting here and I just have a feeling something is watching me. But I can't bring it to the light to prove it. That's a monitoring spirit. They're assigned to everybody's life. So don't feel like you're the odd one. If you have been a believer for a long time. And you haven't progressed much. You haven't matured much. Grown much. I can almost guarantee you. Beyond your awareness. There have been monitoring spirits attached to your life. Because that's their main purpose and job. For every plan that God has for a believer. Listen carefully. Satan has a plan to stop it. You see you and I. Actually every human being. Were created with purpose. With a plan. With a blueprint. But isn't it amazing that majority of the world isn't saved? And isn't it amazing that many Christians that are already saved are still not walking in purpose? Every plan that God has for a believer, Satan has a plan to stop it. He does this through monitoring spirits. But is the concept of monitoring spirits biblical? Are monitoring spirits real? Do they really work against believers? Well, let me tell you, monitoring spirits do far more than just eavesdrop on everything you do. They actually record your actions, your behavior. And most importantly, they record everything you say in order to go back 
to Satan and give a report. And when the report goes in, schemes are fashioned against you. Plans are fashioned against you. L let me tell you something. When you don't believe in monitoring spirits, that's because they have you exactly where they want you to be. Mediocre. Lukewarm. You'll never move forward in your life with Christ. Because monitoring spirits already have you tied down with a certain mentality and with certain behaviors. So whether you believe in monitoring spirits or not is not the issue. They may just have you right where they want you to be in a mediocre relationship with God. When they become apparent in your life is when you decide to rise higher. More intimate relationship with Christ. Have you ever noticed that? Go going to a new level of commitment with Christ. All of a sudden hell breaks loose. You never had troubles, you never had opposition, you never had affliction. And now that you're trying to climb the ladder with Christ, all of a sudden, all kinds of things come against you. Why? Because monitoring spirits have already put you in a comfortable level where they want to keep you. And the day you try to rise higher, all of a sudden they become apparent in your life. You thought they were never there until you decide to become more intimate with Christ. All of a sudden, you took the cover off the pot of worms. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, say this with me, Heavenly Father, I am determined to love and serve you under all circumstances of life. Through the presence and power of your Holy Spirit living in me. I commit my spirit, my soul, and my body in consecration to you for your glory only. I humbly ask you to break the yoke of monitoring spirits. That have been assigned to my life. Father. Break the yoke. Of evil eyes. Assigned against me. Thank you. That Jesus. Became a curse. So I can be curse free. Your power. Is greater than all. Monitoring spirits. I cling to your power to overcome them each day. Nothing will hinder or stop my devotion to you. And nothing will hinder or stop your plans and purposes for my life. I receive freedom now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God.